one, two, one, two. Today, I'm going to tell you what is the best kite in the world and how to get it. Stay with me. Brands will tell you they have the best kite in the world. His kite rides the most upwind and his kite is the easier to relaunch and pulls the most and you know stuff like this. But what is the truth? What is the truth? What is the truth? But first you have to know this about the kites. There are four different types of kites. The first one is the sea kite. The sea kite looks like, like a rectangle. It's very simple. The edges are really sharp. They have struts as well. No bridles. The second one is the bow kite. The bow kite advantage, bridles and a huge amount of deep power. And guess what? It looks like, like a bow. The third one is the delta kite, which is pretty much like a bow, except the back trailing edge is flat and the fourth one which is the most popular these days the hybrid what is the hybrid it's basically taking the advantage of the C and the bow and mixing it together so what is the advantage of the C kite the huge turning area makes the kite turn really fast and the advantage of the bow kite is the flatness and the big pulling area so the hybrid kite looks like pretty much as the child of the bow Delta and the sea kite. So the shape is in between, having bridles and huge area for the power and nice turning areas. Most of the time today you will find hybrid kites. Some kites are delta kites like Bandit or the Evo. These days the bow kites are the high profile race kites like the Cabrinha Apollo or the Ozone Edge. The sea kites are the hardest to ride, so not a beginner stuff. Now you know this. Let's go back to our main topic. The truth is that in 2018 to find a really shitty kite it's almost impossible. So whatever you choose you will make a right choice if you choose it according to your level. They all having mind-blowing features like one pump system and adjustable bar pressure. You know Tecron and triple and quadro. What is that? How is it called? Ripstop. Yeah. They can ride upwind and more upwind. Actually, I like that. Make sure they know that it goes upwind. Oh, and boosts, right? It boosts on the screen, please. And uh, I don't know, it's relaunchable. Yeah, super easy. And mm, come on, they just kites at the end. They all have bump pump system and they all have struts and they all have like, you know, leading edge and they're flying in wind. So yeah, some of them will be greater in light wind, especially the light wind kites. What a coincidence. But, you know, at the end of the day, they are all kites with different abilities. Yeah, as a beginner, you will need an easy to understand, forgiving kite, which gives you a lot of deep power, easy relaunch. All the basic free ride kites from any brand will fit you. So whoever says buy a Vegas because that's so amazing kite, just, just don't believe them and just go ahead and do yourself a favor and buy an easy kite for yourself, which makes your first fun two years fun and not a struggle. Then you can buy afterwards any other kites, whichever fits your needs. Do you need a brand new kite? It's up to you. If you can afford, that's always nice to have a brand new kite. Buy a second hand kite if you can afford only that. Maximum three years old, okay? I know, I know, 10 years old kite will, will just go super cheap and you will be like, ooh, ooh, I can go into kiting for, I don't know, 200 bucks. Yeah, you're gonna have spend more time on the beach, you know, dealing with your lines and drying your kite from a lot of backslows and it will be more painful. I had seven kites before I bought the first good. Why? Because I was like cheap in the beginning. I was like, I don't want to spend that much money. It's, it's just bad. You should. The faster you spend that amount of money on a kite, the better will be the ride. <laughs> I believe the price is not everything. So something which is more expensive, it's not necessarily better. 
I highly recommend to get lessons until you feel confident and fully independent. And during the lessons, you can try out many, many kite brands so you will know what you like about the kite. Personally, I use a small brand called Xeon. They do the whole thing by heart and the product itself is great and they don't bother to advertise. They give this money back to you with a lower price and I quite like this attitude. This model is the Huntu. It's an open C shape and actually I would not recommend to beginners. They have different models for a beginner kiter. There is no such a thing than the best kite in the world and most of the time you love your kite. I do love my kite as well but I don't take it too religiously, which I recommend to you too. Just go ahead, try all the new stuff, your vision will be wide, you will know a lot about kitesurfing, and you will become a better kiter. Get out on the water, kite a lot. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Epic Gus channel, because more will come. See you soon.